Hello everyone, hope everybody's doing good. Um uh, been a little while since I've made a video. Um figure I'd get back on it. Uh just want to show everybody some uh I would say hidden features of ECM link that a lot of people don't know really that even exist. Um I only say hidden because a lot of people don't really know how to access it or that they uh that the features even exist, but they're not really hidden. You just have to know where to go find them to be able to do it. Okay. Um, first things first to be able to get there, you need to go to ecmlink.com, then you're going to go to knowledge base. Okay. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, something you may want to play around with, but for, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to take you directly to it. Uh, just go in the search tab or search bar up at the top here, uh, on the ECM link page and just type in the word direct. Okay. Hit enter. It's going to bring you to direct access changes. And this page right here gives you a bunch of little features in your direct access portion of ECM link if you didn't know we're already there. Uh, some of these may only apply to certain vehicles. Uh, you may have 2G only. Um, this one is for uh, the injector. You know, if you get the uh, fault code for an injector, uh, you know, it helps resolve that one. You may have it for 1G only, 2G only, 1G, Evo 1 through 3, and so on. So it's got these extra little features here. Um, let's say if you're using a Saturn alternator and you keep getting that little check engine light that pops up, you don't want it anymore, just simply download this and that allows you to disable that check engine light because it, it knows then all of a sudden you're using a Saturn or a GM alternator swap, okay? Um, you may have, you may want one for, you may be running E85 where um, you don't want knock uh, retarding your timing, which is pulling your power. You may want to monitor it to make sure everything's good, but you may not necessarily want it to pull the timing. So this is another feature you can add in there as well. So following the directions here, basically what you have to do, and it took me a little while, you know, I've only done this, a, you know, maybe a couple of times. Um, not real hard, but you know, if, if you're, you don't comprehend what you're reading very well, cause I'm terrible at it. The whole reason why I make videos is trying to help people out cause I'm terrible at comprehending what I'm reading. <clears throat> I'm a hands-on kind of guy, but anyway, um, basically what you're doing, uh, depending on what you have, if you've got an XP, you know, one of these, uh, you just follow the, the path here. Okay. And what it does say here, you may need to right click on the file select save link as and to, to, uh, to, to if I get my words out to download these files to your computer okay so uh, that being said I've got Windows 10 so this is the path I'm using here okay so we'll go down here to the I don't want the alternator one that um, doesn't apply to me here I'll, we'll just use the injector one because that's one that has popped up for me from time to time so we'll use this one so we'll right click save link as okay just as it says right here then we're going to follow the path here okay so we're going to go down i need to find my, my c drive which is right here then from there we're looking for users okay the next one is user name mine is the v8s are slow okay and then from there we're looking for ecm link All right, and then we're gonna look for resources and then records, okay? I've already got the no knock in there. I had to test it because it's been a little while since I've done it. I wanna make sure I can do it before I make the video and waste everybody's time just sitting there waiting for me to figure it out. So, but anyway, uh, then we just save, okay? So we've got the file saved over here, okay? So we're gonna minimize this. Uh, you see where I've got the not disable one here, uh, there already, okay? But I don't have the other one, the one with the, um, what was it, the injector, which is not the one we got, yeah, and the injector, DDC, DTC, so this is the one we're looking for to be showing up on our direct access tab, tab, but we don't see that right now. So what we do, we've got to close the ECM link out, okay, we'll just reopen it, okay, and of course we're going to have to connect. All right, now once we pull up the direct access tab, now we should show it in there, okay? There we go, right there, okay? So 
And basically all it says here, set the value to zero to disable the injector DD DTC. Set the value to one to enable it. So if you want to be able to have a check engine light, set one. You don't want to see the check engine light, hit zero, save. Okay. Um, this one right here, I want to stress is that it's important. If you don't want to be uh, having the ECU pulling timing, um, in the case of viewing knock, um, you need to make all make sure all these numbers here match exactly what it is on top. You don't want to have any kind of issue there uh, with your ECU because you don't have that matching. Okay, and then what it does say here: set the values to match the values in the header above. Uh, each cell to disable actual knock retard, but still be able to log it. Use the reset to stop button to re enable knock retard. So basically, all it's saying is if you want it to be able to Enable the knock retard where it's pulling timing. Hit, hit your double arrows here. This is your stock values. Save that, and this is the number that's usually there, okay, uh, when you first download this portion, okay? So you could do that for each one of these little files that's going to be applicable to you. Uh, the alternator, DTC, injector, DTC, fuel pump. This is one I'm about to be using here soon. My car has been down. I'm trying to get up and running, doing a uh, automatic transmission conversion. And it's been sitting up for about a year. Well, I still got the timing belt on it, so I'm not going to spend the oil pump to get oil through my motor. I also don't want to have to pull any fuses or anything to keep my fuel pump from turning on. So what I'll do, I'll just enable ECM link, turn this one on just to disable my fuel pump, turn the engine over. That way I'm cycling the oil through the engine. Cut it back on, bam, I'm good to go. I've already got oil cycled through it. So that's one I'm about to use, okay? Um, these other ones, I mean, you may want to download if it's, if it's anything that you need uh, in regards to that. I will I had to uh, remove ECM link from my computer. I was trying to figure it out because I couldn't remember how to get them to work. So I, I actually removed my whole program. I removed those saved files just to make sure I was doing it for, um, for you guys to make sure I knew how to do it. But... Um, that's one I probably needed to make a video on a while back. Hardly anybody I ever see uses it, so I wanted you guys to be aware of it. But anyway, I'll cut it short. Uh, I don't I don't want to be long-winded. Hope that helps you guys out. For those of you that didn't know about it, hope you all have a good one.